Today we will be drawing artwork by Ted Harrison. We're going to start by drawing an outline of the landscape in the background of the painting. Ted Harrison usually created spaces using colored outlines and it was not usually with black or dark colors. The nature of his lines and colors created the depth in the picture. Today we are drawing a mountain scene along with some houses. Divide the space into sections so that it becomes easier to color them with as many colors as possible. Next we are going to color in the sky with shades of blue. We are going to get darker as we move farther away from the middle of the painting, which is the sun. Tetz Harrison's color palette was partly abstract and partly fantasy. He used shades of blue, purple, pink, and orange, and they dominate his paintings. His paintings are always very simple but rich with colors. He lived in Yukon in northern Canada, and his paintings are often influenced by the landscape in this country. We are applying the same technique to the mountains as well, where we start off with a light color and slowly move on to the dark color. Ted Harrison often painted his colors using contrasting warm and cool colors. We are going to be doing the same here by using shades of yellow, green, dark green, and brown. Next, color in the house with neutral colors, such as brown. And that's it, you're done. 